This is Nick Peters with Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? Facebook stepped into a PR minefield when it removed a photo of a plus-sized model last week from a feminist group page. They said it violated its health and fitness policy. It made viewers feel bad about themselves, they said, potentially leading them to harmful crash diet programs. They stuck to their guns, but faced with social media backlash about being fatphobic, Facebook eventually apologized and reversed itself. But a week later, Facebook-owned Instagram removed and then restored its own photo of plus-sized women bloggers in bikinis. In both cases, what were they thinking, or more likely, not thinking? Well, first, as a publicly traded holding company for separate platforms, including Instagram, Facebook should have anticipated that to investors, if not the general public, they're all one brand. Similarly, as an example, Wall Street knows that if something happens to Dasani Beverages, the parent Coca-Cola brand will also take the hit. Second, were there internal communications protocols for after Facebook reversed itself? Was Instagram or any other Facebook unit informed about the dust-up and instructed to be careful on this issue going forward? And finally, was Facebook's original health and fitness policy vetted by an enterprise-wide team before it was implemented? with an eye toward spotting potential problems across the brand. Crisis response decisions made in silos are inherently risky, especially for a publicly traded parent company like Facebook. And separately, if any company should have known about the risks of instantaneous critical social media reactions to any of its platforms, it's Facebook. I'm Nick Peters for Comcore. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.